This isn't my Halloween video, by the way. This is a bonus video. Okay, so I don't know who this screw face is, and that's why I didn't do reactions to the other rap battles that went on a few months ago. Um, it all seemed a bit messy to me, like there was like a race thing going on. Um, not on Church's side, on the screw face side. Is that what his name is, screw face? I don't know. Um, <laughs> who is he? Who is he? I don't know who he is. I know I've learned today that he does reaction videos and he's like a wannabe rapper. I don't know. He's a YouTuber basically who thinks he's somebody and he's taken on um our boy church and <laughs> it's gone a bit messy. So let's let's listen to it. Ready? Go. Captain Nothing seems to be appearing on the radar. I'll see it. Our church is not a rapper, so that was like beating up a, a, that was like a, that was like literally a basketball player winning in the special Olympics and bragging. You can't really brag about beating up church in a basketball player. Hey, boy, I fuck you in. So he's saying that church isn't a rapper. Um, last time we all checked, he was. I don't know. Um, so this guy's saying he's not a rapper, so the rap battle that they did didn't really count for anything, maybe. I don't know. He's a bit deluded if you ask me. Okay, so <laughs> Church has gone in with a gay reference. Um yeah, that's funny. So, um, as far as I understand it, Church did um, an interview with with Roast and Review, um, and he was talking about somebody else, and he wasn't even talking about this Screwface guy. And Screwface thought he was talking about him, so then he did um, a diss track, basically, on Church. And he got the total wrong end of the stick, because Church wasn't even talking about him. So yeah, it, apparently, so he's come back and he's um, done some sort of interview on, is it on YouTube? I don't know, I haven't watched it myself. I've seen clips of it and he's, um, he's got like a camouflage scarf on. And he's saying that Upchurch isn't a rapper. When Upchurch is a rapper, the last time I checked, he, he makes rap music. He makes country music, he makes rap music. Upchurch makes all the genres of music, so why do people have to be labelled with like a thing? The other diss tracks that Church did was um, he called him Blue Jean and he had the, like jeans on his head. <laughs> I never really understood what that was all about. This time he's got cargo pants on his head. Okay, so I'm loving the Pokemon reference. This screw face, he's like a lower Pokemon. Pokemon that you get when you first start, even I know that because I've only ever just like started on Pokemon and never bothered to go on with it. You get that one when you first start, it's like the rubbishest one. So the last time that Church did a diss track, he referenced him as looking like Whoopi Goldberg because he does a bit, he's got dreadlocks, he looks a bit like Whoopi Goldberg, like hairstyle. Um, <laughs> so that's another reference to that, the sister act. Is that a MC with bars or a gypsy hippie reading tarot cards with a camouflage car fun? What 
the fuck, y'all? Nose ring like Rihanna. Dress can give him some water. I'ma have a baby just so you can rap battle my daughter. Yeah, you with <laughs> um, that's a good reference. So like he's gonna have a baby so that he can he can diss track on this screw face because do you know what? He's like a child. He's like a child. Last time I watched his diss tracks, the screw face diss tracks, not the church diss tracks, they were awesome. The screw face ones were what made me uncomfortable because they brought a lot of like race racial hate into it and it's not what anyone wants to hear like in 2019 really is it he's a child Yeah, Church works super hard. He like brings album after album after album. I say it in all my reaction videos. You don't get bored of anything that Church brings out because do you know what? There's something else new coming out like a couple of months later. He works hard. This guy, he's just riding off the back of um, other people from what I can see anyway. I'm not claiming to be any sort of expert in the music industry or anything like that. I'm not. Um, I'm just somebody with a YouTube channel that wants to have an opinion and uh, yeah he's just riding off the back of somebody else that has success that has talent so he's like picking out these people he's picked church out because he knows that he's got the talent and the popularity that will if he mentions him in his videos he's gonna like get more views and stuff and it's a bit pathetic So last I heard, um, last time the rap battle went on, a lot of Screwface's subscribers actually winded up subscribing to Church because they liked his music and they realised he had more talent in one little finger. I saw something on Instagram earlier on Church's Instagram and it was like I don't know who the guy was but he's obviously like somebody that's in cahoots with this screw face guy and he was going around like interviewing people of who they thought had done the best diss track um, so if maybe that's who he's relating to saying it's his boyfriend it's a bit <laughs> it's a bit weird really <laughs> I'm enjoying this diss track I never thought I would actually like react to diss tracks because I always think it's like negativity and like bringing negativity about but yeah I'm enjoying this Cheeks are hella red, but I don't never get flustered on by a country star again. Write a song about it, motherfucker. Church! <laughs> Shout out to all the reaction papers out there, motherfuckers. Shout out to all my fans and shit. All the boys in this bitch, boy! So that was it. It was like 3 minutes and 12 seconds long. And it was fire. Pure fire. Yeah, I really enjoyed this diss track. It's fire as usual. I like the aggression. I like the passion that he's bringing to it. Let's see if this screw face can even like compete because I doubt it. I doubt it very much. I've heard, to be honest, like I don't know who he is. I've not heard any of his music. The only music of his that I've heard are the diss tracks that he's done about Upchurch. Um, so I could only really comment about them and they weren't good. They were very... They were very childish. The whole grounding's on like a racial matter. And it just wasn't good. I didn't like it. I didn't don't like him very much. I've been told his fans are quite savage. Um, but whatever, whatever, bring it. That's my reaction to Cargo Head by Upchurch, which is a diss track about Screwface. Am I even saying his name right? I don't even know. Don't know him. Don't know him. We don't know you over here in the UK, Screwface.
sorry about that. Um, he's some American guy and that's all I know. Okay, so thanks for watching my reaction video. I will see you again real soon for some more Upchurch reactions. At the moment I'm doing like a whole Halloween thing, so I'll be concentrating on that. But I'll do some more Upchurch reactions real soon. Take care, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.